Most Elginites are familiar with Walton Island, located just south of the Kimball Street Bridge, but I wonder how many Elginites know about Golf's Island, once located just south of the National Street Bridge, shown here in this 1883 photograph. But don't start planning a picnic on Golf's Island, it no longer exists. The island was once a barely visible rise in the middle of the Fox River. When the National Street Bridge was built in 1870 to serve the foot and wagon traffic heading to the Elgin National Watch Company, the island served as part of the bridge's foundation. At high water, the island basically disappeared. Three years later, in 1873, an Elgin resident named David Goff saw an opportunity. He hauled in hundreds of wagon loads of dirt and soon raised the island by four to 10 feet. He built a two-story home, planted a garden, and dug a well. He was soon raising chickens and pigs. His grandson would be born on the island in 1887. David Goff's pigs caught the attention of the Elgin National Watch Company, located just downwind on the eastern bank of the Fox River. They were quick to purchase the island when the federal government revoked Goff's squatter's rights in 1888. They paid Goff well, $1,500 or about 42,000 in today's money. And they agreed to help him move his house and his buildings off the island. The golf home was floated off the island to a site at the foot of Oak Street in the spring of 1889. The space between the island and the eastern bank of the Fox River was filled in when the new National Street Bridge was built in 1901 and the Elgin Aurora and Chicago Electric Interurban Railroad was built in 1903. This effectively eliminated the raised land that was Golf's Island. So remember, if someone asks you to meet them at Golf's Island, don't fall for it. Museum Moments is brought to you by the City of Elgin, a top city for people to live, create opportunities, grow their families and businesses, and enjoy visiting year-round. And by the Florence B. and Cornelia A. Palmer Foundation, supporting the arts in Elgin since 1997.